And Rosa asks, how often should you bleed brakes and clutch? Okay, that's a, like a really good question. Um, and reason being is because you should do it quite often. Really? Uh, yes. Um, okay. Not necessarily that. I mean, the the brakes, like if you go to your race logic chassis school, both the uh, late model version and the street stock version that you did this year, um, what you're going to find is so brake fluid attracts moisture moisture lowers the bo boiling point of the brake fluid and actually ben baker who we just yeah. spoke about earlier has a really good presentation on brake fluid when it comes to this stuff so good so and good. he goes really in depth as far as you know how often you should do this um and common mistakes how to bench bleed brakes because apparently in master cylinders, there's it's, all kinds a, of little cavities deal, yeah. in there. And But no, I mean, uh, so How go, often? Go, going off of that, if I remember correctly, what his recommendation was, I think like once every month. Okay. You should, you know, bleed the brakes, put fresh fluid in there and all that stuff. And when it comes Because especially when you're racing in human environments. So if you're, let's say Florida up to Pennsylvania on this side of the country, mm -hmm. you probably need to be bleeding or, you know, changing that fluid every three, four races or which would equate to once a month. Um, if you're in Arizona, yeah, not so much. Well, and with that, you definitely want to be using um, a racing brake fluid. Correct. Because I mean, that's why there's an AFCO brake fluid that I have on my shelf very specifically because it has a hot boiling point that is meant for racing brakes. And it's also meant to have water contamination in it. Correct. It, it It's already yes. meant, it's meant to be able to do that. Correct. And then as far as clutches, it, it's interesting. I mean, the clutch, the clutch is going to work or it's not. It's not something that's hot. Your brakes get hot. So in other words, at the caliper, your brakes are heating up. And if you've got water in the system, it's going to be boiling that water at the caliper. And then you get a spongy pedal, you get, all sorts of problems that you don't need to have when you're racing. Well, but I do have to say, I've, I've had customers call. I had a dad call me one day and he, his son races and goes through clutches like, I mean, like candy, right? <laughs> but ever since he switched over to the Daytona 1 transmission fluid, mm -hmm. the dirt track trans fluid, He's not rolling. So you're talking, like not a going through. You're, you're talking about a bird or a brand or something like that. Probably like yeah. a Midwestern it, guy, like, a, be, yeah. like the modified guys. Right. And not going through, um, not going through clutches every right. five minutes like he was. The, right. the kid had been through like three cl clutches the season before, right. well, what, and this what, one he hadn't what, been through. What this is referring to is the brake fluid that you use going from the master cylinder to the transmission that engages the clutch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, gotcha. Yeah, that's a totally, sorry. Totally, I mean, totally different. I hear clutch. I hear transmission. Right. You know. Um, yeah, totally different. I just sell the stuff. I don't put it together. Right. <laughs> But brake fluid's cheap, so use it. Yeah. yeah.